Hey guys, I'm back with another interview on my show. So this is the tenth episode on my show, and so I'm welcoming you on the Entrepreneur Warrior Show hosted by me, Nilesh Jain. So I'm uh, welcome to the Entrepreneur Warrior Show, and this is where we interview entrepreneur, affiliate marketer, coach, and th- in this series of interviews today we have a person who teach me the process how to do the interview show, who teach me. the concept because of him i am able to achieve this 10th episode on my show so he is the founder of voice warrior he started his journey from lockdown and helping his student i am the first one student and i am so proud and he is the founder of voice warrior also uh, he is a mentor who teach he invited six to nine figure entrepreneur on his show like this is a great he invited dave woodward jim edwards myron golden so many big people on his show his uh, he teach how to find your voice how to find your voice and build relationship with your dream 100 and uh, the one big thing is he push me to achieve this number 10 so i'm not wasting your time a lot and i'm invited invited my brother mentor Daniel on my show. So hey, Daniel, what is uh, up? <laughs> Thank you, Nilesh. <laughs> Woo! I'm super excited here, Ooh. and uh, it's an <laughs> honor to be excited. here. Yeah, and uh, congrats on your tenth episode for the Entrepreneurs Warrior Show, man. Th- congratulations. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot, brother. It's so because of I'm you so and all the guests who are joining my show. Who trust me? You teach me the process, and I'm able to invite every. uh and when you are on my show so i am grateful for you this because the 10th number is like a very small but it is a big achievement and it is start from the one and the one person one mentor like you who helped me to achieve the 10th episode so thank you so much and yeah guys thank if you, you are watching it live please put in hashtag live watching it on replay please put in hashtag replay and if you wanted to launch your interview show so make sure to still With stay with us till then. Take out your pen, paper, and let's get started. So before we Go. start, are are you hear me loud and clear, brother? All so far so good. And just I just want before we start, I just want to say thank you so much. You know for having me on your ten episode. Uh, it's really <laughs> it's like I'll say faith, right? Or faith, like for me to come at the tenth episode, and it's been an awesome journey. You know, seeing you growing from one to ten. Wow. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much <laughs> because it is only possible because of you. If you not push me, yeah, thanks, that you can ha- tell him, you can connect with him, then it is not possible. So yeah. Thank you. And uh, so, Welcome, are we good to go? Yes, go, brother. Let's go. Okay. So, could you share a little bit about yourself for about your backstory and how this uh, voice warrior is started? Sure, sure. Okay, so so basically, yeah, you guys know me. I'm Daniel, and I'm a blessed husband and father to a young, a young ten month young boy. And so my journey actually started off since the lockdown. But before the lockdown, actually, just to share a little bit, I was into drop shipping. I was into e-commerce. I was into MLM, network marketing. I was into even branding, and I even did like this meme. for a funny funny meme page on instagram so i did a lot of stuff online as well so it started way back i mean in roughly 2018 2019 at that point of time so i, I just like devil through i tried here and there some had success some failed and when when before the lockdown happened i was like thinking like wow this online world is quite interesting right so then my and at the point of time i was working in a recruitment agency and in that recruitment agency i was doing sales and marketing so i also been in sales marketing for about 9 years now and i have i was leading a team and lo and behold the pandemic hit right and it was around it, it, the, my country was on lockdown on 2020 february right i still remember the date it was 17th february 2020 and when that that time when the pandemic hit it really hit my company badly when i was working there and be, because of that pandemic because i had to recruit people from all over the world right i recruit people from malaysia bangladesh india australia china and because of the lockdown the whole world was on lockdown we couldn't recruit anyone anymore so my company was hit badly and that really led me to think like i need to do something right and because i can't just um, ask or just 
hold on to my companies, right? And and f- from there onwards, I came to know Peng Jun, right? And you guys know Peng Jun as well. So Peng Jun, I went to this course, and that's where I started to learn sales funnels. I started to learn the sales process of a sales funnel. I started to understand this whole internet marketing world. And from there, it, I got connected with ClickFunnels and Russell Brunson, right? And OFA came in, I started learning. And this is the, the, the one quote that Russell Brunson said that always remains my heart and it will always remain my heart forever, which is this. Russell Brunson mentioned this quote, which is, you know, we are all called to serve a certain group of people, right? And when he said that, I was like, whoa, okay, that, that really reminded me at at the the point of time when I was working in the recruitment agency, right? Because when at at that point of time, all I I was thinking of is money, money, money. Let's make more money. And and it's not wrong to have that mindset, right? But then again, money should not be the main motivation for what you're doing, right? And so from from there on, once I heard what Rasmus mentioned, he reminded me back in the agency, like I said, where I was leading a team, right? And when I was leading that team of mine, I taught them how to do cold calls. I taught them how to do close sales, how to meet clients, how to talk to the clients, how to understand the body language, how to understand and you know, have eye contact with the client and so, so many things. And from there on, I understand that that actually brought me a sense of fulfillment. So from that fulfillment, it really brought me in this journey, right? On this path. So where I, I took step by step and I was thinking, maybe I should teach people on how to find their voice. And with, with that being being planned out, and I was thinking like, hmm, but right now I'm I'm no one in the market, right? No one knows who is Daniel Das, and so I started study patterns of entrepreneurs on how they started, how they started their journey, and if you look back in all their patterns, like Tony Robbins, Russ Brunson, and and so many more, they all started off by interviewing people, like interviewing top entrepreneurs interviewing top marketers, all those experts, right? And that's where they started getting information. And that's how, by having their interview shows, by having their own platforms, they were able to build authority. They were able to build trust and credibility. But I'm not going to go into the whole full length story. But through that, I started my own interview shows. And I started my group called the Voice Warriors. So <laughs> Voice Warriors was born. And and our first show we, we had, which is Voice Voice Radio, we launched it on December the 1st. And we are going to come into one year very soon. And so it has been an amazing journey how Voice Warriors has been. And from then on, you know, just a couple ma- months back, I, I created my own offer, right? Or I created my own program, which you went through. You're the first person who went in my offer. And it has been an amazing journey because I understand that from here, I can actually teach people on how to launch their show and be, and get attract all these six to nine figure or even 10 figure, hopefully soon to be on the show. And not just that, because through having your show, you're able to discover your voice, share your message and impact lives. And that's that's what I'm I'm really diving into deep, and yeah, that's how my journey is so far. Super awesome, super awesome, and congratulations about to Thanks. because of for the one year journey, and uh, so true. You share that uh, every big person started their journey like started uh, with the interview show. So uh, in the expert secret, Russell Bunsen also mentioned mentioned that how he is able to get so much sales within a week because of this Dream 100 concept. He just went to mm-hmm. Tony Robbins and Tony Robbins interviews uh, Russell Brunson and boom, like crazy. <laughs> he making tons yeah. of sales, right? So Exactly. Yeah, that's so awesome. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> you already interview so many big people, uh, big names like Dave Woodward, Jim Edwards, right? So there how you are able to invite them or on your show and how the newbie like uh, me whom you teach the process but if a newbie who want to invite his interview guest on his show how he invite them all right yeah. all right so so i went through a, like i just shared with you so i, I went through a, a, a long process right because i went I st- when i started off and I, I bootstrapped my way right i didn't have the money to pay someone to or pay a cost to really teach me on how to attract all these guests and so on but so i, I started off 
you know, from emailing, from messaging and so on. And I figure out the, the right way to really attract all these guests into your show is by building relationships. Right, that 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 is one way to go about it, and and also the the start start the first thing to do right is always give value and always always be the one word thankful, right? Being thankful by just saying you know when you see your dream guest or when you see that your, your the people that the guests you want on your show, by just dropping that if you see a story if you see a post from them, just go there and just say how much you are thankful for them sharing their posts. If you notice also in ClickFunnels in, or in Russell Brunson's page, if you can see, I'm over there every time, most of the time, not every single time, but most of the time when I see it, I always give heart shaped love, right? And I always comment that so true, so amazing. Thank you for sharing this. Just by de- being thankful, you will definitely attract your guests into your show. And that's, that's step one, right? And then step two, from then on, you can actually drop them a message. And also remember one thing, right? There are different tiers of marketers and entrepreneurs in the world, right? So like Russell Brunson, Tony Robbins, they are all in the highest tier, right? They are on the, the tier number one or level A, right? We are maybe in the level C or D, something like that. But, but no, no matter what, first, always go to the next step. Yes, right. For example, now if it, like Nilesh, you, you, you know it as well, right? The first step, which I share in my, my course as well, the first step to do is go and look for those that are close to you those that are nearest to you they maybe they have earned five figure or maybe they have earned six figure right go to them ask them like hey i have a show and my show is all about blah 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 blah. or like, let's say for voice warriors voice warriors is a show where we believe that we all have a voice that is capable of making a huge impact on the people we are called to serve so i understand that you have used your voice and you have already discovered your voice and use it to sh- to share your message and impact lives and with that i would love to have you on my show right just a simple script like that right and with that go to the nearest one go to the nearest entrepreneur marketers and from there build build your show up build build your process and from there you start to invite the higher tier marketers the higher tier entrepreneurs and yeah so i hope that makes sense is, it, is that clear? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Like people, if you're watching it live, make sure you take notes because the steps he shared is literally I'm using and because of he, this steps, the number is a 10 on my interview show and it is going so long. I'm not going to stop. <laughs> right. So awesome. make sure you take notes and also, so how long it will take to get a uh, one guest on our show? Like uh, we, if we are doing this process, like commenting, value so how long it will take to get a person on our show good question so when when you when you when it comes to that level right i will say that okay if you're following what i just said earlier on if you're going by a step-by-step process and first you you're inviting the ones that are nearer to you right the guests that are earning five figure or, or lesser than that or even six figure and they are always online and you can you can see them you know they are also commenting on other people and they are also looking for different platforms to be in it will take a matter of just um, even a day or even immediately right but if you're looking for those higher tier marketers like iron gold and like dave woodward and so on they they will definitely would like to see your progress have you did interview shows before that's one thing do you have replays right do you have posters of your interviews what what is your your motives of having them on the show so it when you touch that level definitely there is a certain need of your progress Right. But if you're talking about you want to reach out to those that are near to you, like those that you see uh, marketers that are so on online right now, right? So active right now, they are always ready to jump on your show because at the end of the day, they get exposure, you get exposure as well, and you are you are able to build your on, online presence, build authority, build trust, build credibility. Yeah. How dignity you dog, <laughs> like <laughs> people <laughs> don't just, yeah, uh, you are sharing good value, good information, like uh, always connect with the people and uh, yeah, it will take time to invite a guest. So once a person is come to your show, like uh, Jim Edward or uh, Myron Golden is come to your show. So 
my, how you are able to uh, build the relationship with them till yet like uh, how they know remember exactly remember you till yet that so how you wow. continue relationship with them that's that's really, that's really a good question right so us as entrepreneurs when we, when we just started off and when we have them on our show right like my golden like dave woodward and jim edwards and so on the best way to still keep that relationship is drop them a message right and you especially like uh, as you some of you may know dave woodward right now he has a tumor right uh, it's I, I think it's cancerous and, and stuff like that but he's going through this time where it's uh, challenging right so what i do what do is i i kind of like share with him quotes or I share with him stuff that is going to you know help him to give him the energy and you know give him encouragement through this challenging time and with that as well if you guys see on my instagram Dave football is following me right because i have built that relationship with him right people like myron golden as well people like jim edwards share share that value or be thankful for the value they are sharing and I, I i guarantee you they will appreciate it even maybe if they don't see it right just keep on doing it because at the end of the day you 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 show that you're thankful and of course be real don't show that you're fake right you don't want to be fake thankfully because at the end of the day when you build that that long lasting relationship you you also build a place where later on who knows right later on when you have a product to promote when you have something to share or you have something to offer they will be there to help you out as well so this this actually coming back to the story where russell brunson with tony robbins right i think some of you may know it as well you know russell brunson took like about 10 nearly 10 years right to know tony robbins or eight to ten years i'm not sure but about the time but so it was quite a long time before even russell brunson was able to do live in tony robbins pitch right to tony robbins community right so it so it takes time it's not going to be an overnight success where i build a relationship today and tomorrow okay i'm going to sell my offer to to this uh, dream 100 it's not going to work that way right when you're talking about relationship it's a long game right it's a long-term relationship and because at the end of the day when it's okay let me give you another example like me and my wife right when we have that relationship we trust, we understand each other. We always talk things out. So it's very similar to having a relationship with you in Team 100, right? When you, you build that trust and then after that, you, you, you know that, you know, any point of time, if they need help, you are there to help. And when it comes to that point of time as well, when you need help, they will be there for you. So build that relationship to that level and it will be so awesome. Super, super. <laughs> like. Uh... Focus on building a relationship with Dream 100 and uh, what are the product service you want to sell? You get more higher chance to get your service sell yes. or it is a traffic that you don't need to go for paid. This is a free traffic you are getting if you focus on building mm -hmm. relationship with your Dream 100. So yes, exactly. Uh, I want uh, next. I want to uh, know that uh, how if uh, how someone has money create a monetization opportunity with the interview show like uh, i'm doing this interview show you are doing interview shows so how did someone is do a monetization because most of the newbie have this yeah. objection that uh, if i created this interview show did it help me yeah so how did <laughs> that's, that's, that's nice nice question yeah so a lot of times like I, I get this as well you know when when people entrepreneurs come to me and say like Daniel, how, how by having a show, how will I be able to monetize on it? Or how will I get profits from having my show? And this is one answer that I usually tell them. And it all goes back to the answer that I actually mentioned that this is a long, long term game, right? This is a long term show, right? Not, this is not going to happen like now I'm having my first episode. Next day I have $1,000 sale. Right, it's it's rarely gonna happen, right? Rarely, right? I'm not saying not gonna happen. Maybe you have really a big following, then yes. But if you have a small following and or you have a, a, a very, very small following, it's not gonna happen overnight, right? So it takes time. And on the monetization part, right? After having your shows, like like I said, having your show, it builds trust, it builds credibility, it builds authority. Right? Why? How? How it happens? How can all this be built? It's because at the end of the day, when you have guests that are coming on your show, 
you are able to leverage on their voice. Like voice voice, yeah, leverage on their voice. Or you're leveraging on their expertise, right? So when they come to your show, you are hanging out with the cool kids, right? You are cool because you're hanging out with the cool kids. And when you are cool, people will start listening to you. People will start loving you, right? Even you will get raving fans and people will want to know, do you have any offer for them? Are you able to help them as well? Because you are doing well, right? And this is something also that I actually just was talking earlier on with one, one of my friends. And, you know, an interview show can actually be used for good or it also actually can be used for bad. And I'm totally against using for bad because, you know, by having an interview show, you build trust, credibility, and you build authority, and you can actually cheat people money, and which I, I am totally against. Because at the end of the day, you want to be real. You want to be here to serve your audience. You want to be here to give value to your audience and to help them through their journey. Because from then on, you're able to create your frameworks. And if your framework works on them, on your audience, and they have success with it, their success is your success, right? So that's how we, we learn and we grow and we reach for the sky and we hit our targets together. And so I hope that makes sense on the monetization part. So it's not a it's not a short-term game, it's a long-term game. But then again, on monetization part is from the trust, credibility, and authority online. So yeah, that's what super, it is. Super, super, super awesome. Like uh, people, Daniel is sharing tons of information and he's sharing the golden nugget that he teach me in his paid course. So don't think that you are jumping. It is a free. No, it is information that he teach from his knowledge, from his expertise and from his paid program like thing. So uh, most of the time, uh, big uh, people also have this question that uh, uh, I, whom I invited on my show, like how, how did, uh, uh, they think that, okay, he's earning so much money. So I need to invite him. He's earning so much money. I need to invite him. So how they decide that who is their dream guest, whom they invite on their, uh, to their show. Okay. That's, that's a good question as well. So when, when, when to decide who is the right one to be on your show, it comes back to looking at what is your show all about? right is so uh, let me take for example my my show right my show is about voice my show is called voice warriors radio right we are the voice warriors and like i said we are people we are entrepreneurs that believe that we all have a voice that is capable of making a huge impact on the people we are called to serve so i would like to have guests that have already discovered their voice and is sharing their message and is impacting lives there are thousands of guests that are like that, right? I'm sure you know this as well, right? But then how do I pick out the right guests for my show, right? So the guests that I want on my show are the guests that are really, you know, impacting lives. And those guests are will, will be the coaches, the affiliate marketers, right? And even the consultants, right? And, and you, as you can see on my show as well, I do not have guests that are the e-commerce specialists or the ads specialist, or the Google, you know, SEO specialist, or so on, right? I, I do not have guests that are from that field. Reason why? Because I am focused on, you know, voice, right? That's why we are called voice warriors. So it, when it comes to your show, right, you have to be certain, you have to be sure, what is your show all about, right? Is your show helping affiliate marketers? Then go and look for guests that are really strong in affiliate marketing. Right? Go and look for guests that are entrepreneurs that are also in the part of the affiliate marketing world. Right? Because with that, you're able to bring value to your audience. And when, when your audience sees that, okay, this Nilesh is doing affiliate marketing and he's being a lot of affiliate marketing guests, I definitely want to be on the show. Right? Because I'm definitely going to get a lot of value. And I'm definitely going to get a lot of information that is going to help me succeed. And so that's that's one way to look about it. Look at your show. What is your show? What do you want your show to be about? Right. And then from there on, you're able to pick pick out the right guests for your show. Super, super, super. <laughs> like uh, we have to choose the right person to get invite on our show. Like 
you mentioned right that if i am not in the niche of ecom then there is it doesn't make sense because my audience is not from ecom so if yeah. they jumping on watching us live they think what is nilesh or daniel doing like uh, who is yes. this guy <laughs> right yeah. so we have to be yeah, fix on our niche and that's correct yeah. i just would like to add a little bit on that sorry nilesh so so you know when no, a, a very important part of it so you have to understand your who who are your audience right which audience do you want to serve like for my audience i really want on struggling entrepreneurs they are you know they want thing to build a strong online presence and i want audience also that are consultants that are coaches that are affiliate marketers so i'm very direct to who i want to serve because when you know who you want to serve you are able to also find the who which is your guest to come on your show and share the value so yeah i hope that makes sense definitely this is makes sense who is the person you want to serve then everything is going to be good and you are getting yes. good people so yes people we are uh, here for a few more minutes uh, so uh, you can also share your biggest takeaways if you have any question you can ask to daniel he is reply you 100% <laughs> right <Definitely>. so <laughs> what is the biggest mistake you did when you started and you suggest a newbie new show creator avoid this mistake uh, when it comes to the show show creator yeah right yeah when you show creator right yeah. so when it comes to the show the first mistake that you you, you want to avoid is directly messaging your guests to come on your show and right? that's one mistake that i i made early on but somehow thankfully thank god i i managed to pull through there are some guests also you know they, they came to me and they, they straight away they asked me um so how long have you been doing the show you know and i i was so brand new at a point of time and and we this this thing or this mistake that i would like to suggest to avoid is don't directly message your guests and directly tell them hey i got a show i'm doing this please come on my show right and and especially if you're going for the higher tier guests for your highest higher tier dream 100 they are definitely going to say no right but not maybe not all of them right but some of them or most of them I'll say they'll definitely say no because you have not yet proven your track record you have not yet launched your few shows and that is going to be also difficult for you to show or to produce the replays for them to see the posters for them to see and also you know the, the the all the necessary things you know that they want right so it's very very important for you to really focus on getting those guests that are near you like i said and then from there on it's an easy path for you to go so make sure to avoid that mistake of directly you know mess- messaging those those guests to straight away come on and show build that relationship first and then from there ask them so per so per so per so so true like directly i'm asked to hey i want to invite you on my show could you want to join <laughs> he directly say me yeah. no no i don't want to who are you yeah. <laughs> he asked me who yeah, are who you who are you right i come to you yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, unless <laughs> unless you are doing a million dollar funnel or unless you are already yeah. having a very established company or you have like few thousand followers or or something like that then maybe there's still a lot of chance right but for people like Definitely. me for people like you know those who are just starting out it's going to be yeah. a challenge for you to do that so take the safest way which is build that relationship you know be thankful of the value they are sharing and then invite them in yeah. to your show what's up awesome. <laughs> i see so a lot good. of people wow what's uh, up <laughs> hey bro so RJ. <laughs> RJ in the house. <laughs> so yeah. yeah so you also have uh, you can ask their your question if you have any question you can ask related to your show so you also have this show uh, sorry this link could you share about it uh, what is this all about Okay, so watchboys.com forward slash war room is all about the basically the replays that are there, right? And also the group that you can join, which is the Watch Warriors group. Over there, we are a community that is ready to help you. And we, like I said, we are here to help you discover your voice, share your message, and impact lives. And not only that, every Wednesdays we have free trainings, and the trainings are not just only on finding your voice, but trainings on how to build relationships with your guests. 
trainings on how to un better understand your customers and a lot of stuff from the sales funnel. And even me and Nilish, right? He knows it as well. We do. We are currently doing now the .com secrets challenge. So if you want to join us, go to this link. It's right there. But before going to that link, right? Before going to that link, I need to say something as well, right? If you have any questions and if you need questions on your show, look for Nilish first. Don't come and look for me, right? Because Nilesh is an awesome person. He is also has learned so much. He has grown so much throughout these times from the time he has joined the online world until now. And he has a lot of knowledge to share, a lot of value that he can bring to the table. So before going to that link, look for Nilesh, ask him questions. He, he definitely have a lot of answers for you. And then, yeah, that's about it. Brother. <laughs> thank you brother thank you for this uh, encouragement and for your help so yes people if you still have any question please you can ask in the comment section yeah some i see i see one question so that. hey daniel would you share with us your biggest takeaway from your whole interview show my biggest takeaway wow that's a very good question Naira. so i'll say that my biggest takeaway from having an in interview show right is i'll say from the guest point of view and this is something that a lot of my my guests always say at the end of the day we to really succeed in something we have to start right a lot of us we procrastinate we we, we think twice we we let other distraction comes in we we, we we find excuses sometimes right and and just because my lighting is not good my mic set is not good my, my earpiece is not working and and some funny excuse we always come up with and we worry of what people may think about us how do we look like or how do we sound right and and what, what or maybe even our family members like telling us that what are you doing online go and get a nine to five job and so the, the biggest takeaway i'll say is we have to start because if you never start you never know right and and like the famous chinese pro also say right the best time to plant the tree was 20 years ago right and the next best time to plant the tree is right now so don't waste your time start and launch it even if it's your show even if it's going live do it because the world needs to hear your message right at the end of the day right if you're one chapter ahead of everyone you are able to help the person who is one chapter ahead behind you a eh, big be, yeah one chapter behind you so you just need one to be one chapter ahead even i saw russell brunson's post just recently if i'm not wrong right he posted that you just need to be one chapter ahead to be an expert and that is so true right and so yeah true. that that would be my biggest takeaway <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Hope makes like, sense, uh, perfect. <laughs> De definitely, definitely it makes sense. Like uh, I'm not thinking so much about perfection, but my last interview was yes. like uh, such uh, like little bit suck, so much suck <laughs> because of internet issue. And I also mentioned share with you that I think I don't need to continue with this show, <laughs> right? But uh, <laughs> yes, yes, at true. the end, we have to think for long term and obstacles are always be there perfection is not matter so so true so true thank you so thank much you. Uh, i know that yeah, chinese so proverb well because i'm chinese yeah. 我也是一半华人, 我也是一半华人. I, I say that i'm also half chinese so yeah <laughs> so i understand as well hi suhima so you're most welcome before we wrap up the <laughs> so before we wrap up the show uh, could you share your final thoughts for that people who just started. All right, so f this is something that I shared in module one and I'm gonna share with you guys. Uh, no, today, I'm, I, yeah. I, you know, right, Nilesh, I, I'm not holding back anything for today. I gave mm -hmm. them all the tips and tricks, the pointers, the value that I'm able to share. And this is something from my module one, which I share is have this mindset in your head, in your mind, and you'll definitely succeed no matter what. So this is it, believe, stay focused and don't ever give up, right? When you have this tree in, in your mind, when you have this tree really built in, I'm going to come closer to the camera. When you have this tree inside here, believe, stay focused and don't ever give up. You will definitely, definitely succeed. And yeah, that's my final thoughts for today. Never ever give up guys, never ever give up. And uh, 
so glor uh, awesome nugget golden nugget shared by my brother daniel so your love to him in the comment section like mohit is there yeah, like uh, thank, thank you, you mohit thank you mohit so much yeah we are both in the ff yeah i said right so once again thank you so much brother for joining my interview show i am sure. so glad your presence over here and thank you so much for jumping on uh, live with me or Maybe. help me to achieve the 10th episode of my interview show so so thank you it's it's yeah it's really such an honor to for me to be here and yeah you are really crushing it keep on crushing it let's do 20 brother let's do this the next 10 yes let's do this soon <laughs> right, right. see you guys soon i will achieve <laughs> so till then i will be back i i'll be join you soon so till then have a great rest of the day brother thank you so much brother see you guys thanks bye, -bye. bye. so there you go guys there you go you get i know you get tons of value from daniel and he is share with you more golden nuggets if you are not watching this video from uh, if you are joining this on just now make sure you watch the video from starting and uh, thanks a lot for stay here till then thank you so much everyone you are so awesome audience you are here so if you are not a part of my facebook group then the link is here i am shift this interview within an hour or two in my facebook group so you can go and check join my facebook group and you find more interviews on my show so till then legend signing off have a great day great night great morning i'll be back with another interview on my show so till then bye bye have a great day